Hello, and welcome to the Hackley Senior Studio on the Hilltop. I am Greg Cece, longtime Visual Arts Department Chair, teacher, upper school advisor, artist and painter myself, and proud parent of a Hackley seventh grader. I've been teaching art and architecture to Hackley students in the studio now for over 20 years, so this is really my home on the hilltop. And so again, welcome. So many talented Hackley artists have left their creative mark on our program and on the community from this studio and our other studios around campus in the lower, middle, and upper schools that I thought I'd put together a selection of Hackley student art for you to view and enjoy tonight, as I've done for past open houses here on campus. Because I've long felt that the best voice for the visual arts at Hackley is not my own, but the student art that's produced in our studios every day. As a new teacher many years ago, one of the first things I noticed as unique to Hackley was that students here like to be challenged. And so on the Hilltop, we've built a visual arts program that challenges students in the art studio. From lower school through upper school, student artists, young and older, learn that art can be as challenging as it is fun and enjoyable. As a result, Hackley student artists apply themselves to their art with the same focus, energy, and commitment that they bring to the rest of their learning, whether that's in a math, science, English, or history classroom. Hackley's visual art program is uniquely rooted across divisions and disciplines in drawing. By cultivating in our student artists from the earliest grades a broad and comprehensive understanding and appreciation of drawing, and then providing the formal knowledge and technical training to draw at a high level, Hackley's art program consistently produces remarkably strong and confident drawers, much like Hackley's English department produces strong and confident writers. With this drawing knowledge and confidence in their toolkit, Hackley artists then go on to develop and pursue their personal interests in a variety of artistic disciplines, from painting, sculpture, ceramics, photography, design, filmmaking, and architecture. Our program, of course, begins in the lower school, where students in grades one and two have art three times per cycle, and grades three and four two times per cycle. Lower school students are introduced to the same essential drawing issues central to our middle and upper school curricula, and typically begin each year learning about the importance and fun of observational drawing. The middle school visual arts program is designed to strengthen the foundation laid in the lower school, with a focus on teaching new middle schoolers to see and perceive the world around them more critically. Middle school artists are challenged to become more aware of, thoughtful about, and technically more proficient with their art. Fifth graders continue their study of essential formal drawing issues such as line, shape, value, and composition, while sixth graders expand on that foundation to explore figure drawing for the first time in the art studio. Seventh and eighth grade art majors receive instruction five times a cycle and rotate by trimester through three different studio courses, each taught by a different departmental faculty member. This year's art major trimester units are sculpture, digital art, and drawing and painting. In the upper school, our program is sequential in nature. The upper school program begins in the ninth grade with either of our two foundational courses, Foundations of Studio Art Drawing or Foundations of Studio Art Sculpture and Ceramics. From our foundation studio courses, students steadily progress through our upper school program with intermediate studio art in the sophomore year and then to advanced studio art in their junior year. After a rigorous and challenging year in advanced studio art, the rising juniors are ready to tackle our AP Studio Art course. AP Studio Art students spend their senior year building an extensive portfolio of independent work, which they submit to the college board in the spring. The Upper School Art Program also offers sequential tracks in the photography and sculpture disciplines. In recent years, a number of talented advanced photography students have submitted AP portfolios to the college board for review. The Upper School Art Program also offers sequential tracks in photography and digital media, as well as in sculpture. In addition to learning and creating in the studio, Hackley Lower, Middle, and Upper School artists also enjoy numerous off-campus art experiences. From single-day and overnight art field trips near and far, to galleries and museums in New York City, to upstate sculpture parks, and on extended overnight art and art history excursions to Washington, D.C., Boston, Paris, Florence, and most recently to Norway. Hackley student artists also have opportunities to exhibit their work, 
both on campus and in our annual spring divisional exhibitions in Allen Memorial Hall, always eagerly anticipated events, as well as off campus at university galleries and museums. At all levels of our program, the storied history of art is woven into our studio curricula so that students learn about and appreciate the wonderful breadth and rich diversity of creative expression across time and around the world. So as I hope you've seen, Hackley has an extensive and exciting program in the visual arts. Rooted in drawing, our curriculum across divisions, lower, middle, and upper, gives our students, young and older, the knowledge, skills, and confidence to explore creatively and to pursue a wide range of artistic disciplines.